watch the fish just briefly and you'll be able to pick a time when he comes out of the weed or you know presents presents a good shot like that and he ate that really well Well, g'day everyone. Welcome to another full scale fishing adventures video. Um, we're just on the way out of the cod fishing water and it was a tough trip. And what I like to do when it's a tough trip, because it's summertime, I'm going to sight cast a few carp on the way out and I'll show you just how easy it is. The fly is just a little black unweighted woolly bugger. It's just got a little glass bead on there as the weight. It's just enough to make it sink down. I've got a metre and a half of just straight 10 pound litre. That's more than enough for carp. You don't need a tapered litre. They're not that fussy. Eight weight fly rod, as I said, floating line. And this is a great, really great carping water here. So it's just, there's just a bit of clarity. You can probably see a foot down. So there's so much water to fish. What I'm doing to find the fish is a couple of things. So I'm staying up high, high up on the bank. I'm covering as much water as I can. I just really wanna, um, you know, just burn through that water and find any active fish. Get underneath the trees here. And you'll find that actually looking for disturbances rather than individual fish, you'll find more fish. Well, I could see this one making all sorts of ruckus on the edge of the river and he's just come out a little bit wider now. The cast is pretty good. Ate it. <laughs> that was a nice eat. And how much fun is that? Like, come down, walking the banks, and he is a good sized fish. I'm gonna work out how I'm gonna get down to him, but this way, at least I can get him onto that. Get him onto that little flat spot there. Here we go. No snakes, is there? Very nice. Ate the fly very well, which is always good. Oh, just slipped into the water. Check him out. <laughs> Big mud sucker on the f on foot on the fly. All right. Well, I'll dong this one on the head and chuck him up the bank. We'll go find another one. Just see the disturbance on the edge here. Now I can see the fish. He's just out here. So I'll move up slowly to him and we'll put the fly out. And there's actually another one back there. So we'll get this one first, so he's closest. So he's just mooching his way through the weed here and Quite often it's good just to watch the fish just briefly and you'll be able to pick a time when he comes out of the weed or you know presents presents a good shot like that and he ate that really well so well <laughs> they're they're really aggressive when they want to be you know they're in here obviously feeding and hunting food so you get that right one like that one, that just absolutely smashes it. Very, very cool. I don't know if I spooked that other one back up there. We'll get this one in first. It's a very fun way to spend a few hours while it's warm. It really is. Here you come. 
There's a big, big fish, big size fish. Bit of weed on him here. Be nice, be nice. Oh, there he is. And he just absolutely smashed that fly. He was straight onto it. Out of all the colors um, that you could tie carp flies, I think simply black and white, you really can't beat. They seem to up here where the water's got a little bit of color at the moment, black's a really good option. I like that one, just totally agreed. He just woofed it. All right, I'll get rid of this one and we might go see if that other one's still in the shallows there. Well, we haven't spooked this one. He's still there, just cruising in amongst the tussocks here. I'll just sneak up to him and chuck the fly out and see if he wants to eat it. It's actually a really good shot, this one. He's just cruising very slowly. Let's get that fly nut nah, and he's spooked. He's spooked at it. Well, as you saw, that fish spooked, and that's what's really cool about these outback fish is they're not always easy. So a really good idea is to hold the fly in between your thumb and your forefinger, and then just have a little bit of a cast worth of line off the reel. And if you know that fish are in the area, then you can just walk along and as soon as you see that fish, you can put the fly to it. I think sometimes if you've got the fly hooked on the rod, you know, the, the loop gets caught or, yeah, it's just a messy way of trying to get that fly presented quickly. It's working our way down here now and I can actually see carp waving his tail down there. So I think that's a pretty good invitation for a fly, in my opinion. It's just down, there's a bit of a weed bed. He's just down in behind that. Oh, we've actually got, there's one down here. There's four here actually. So rather than spooking any of the others, I'm just going to put the fly down to this one. Ate it straight away. <laughs> and went bananas. <laughs> I think that's something to be aware of is that there's no point trying to catch the one that you're looking at if one is, you know, there closer. It's just going to end up spooking all the others. One in the net's better than two in the bush, as they say. They're all big fish. No complaints there. Oh, in you come. They certainly pull. They certainly pull. In you come, buddy. So I managed to straighten the hook while trying to pull that fish up, which was a bit silly. Truly unique, the big old red gums. It's a very cool place to fish. Right, here he is, cruiser right there. Cast is pretty good. We see it. No, a bit far away from him. Yet it's amazing how. They can be so flighty, but you have to get that fly right on the money, which I'm not doing. That's better. I'm just going to draw it back past and let it sink down. Ate it straight away. This is a big one. It's a really big one. Holy dooly. This is big. This is a big carp. Oh, I dropped it. No. No. That was a whopper. Oh. That sucks. Got me in the stick. Damn. 
They're all dark one. Come on. Get off of there. There he is. Should have left it there. Oh, he's on the move. Up on the log. Eat something here, eat something there. Oh, dude, why did you pull it out of his mouth? Bet you'll be spooky as now. Oh, that was such a good eat. Got him that time though. <laughs> Come back for it. It's so funny, like you think that they're a stupid fish, but they're really not. If you if you um prick one and you don't hook it, there's no way usually that they're coming back to eat it again. But this one was a little different from the norm. But I've had so many times where if they spook or yeah they'll stay there but you think they'll eat a fly and they really really won't totally different color this one that was really cool i'm stoked because that first eat was really nice i was very disappointed with myself but got the second one to stick cool eat very bronzy fish. There he is. Beautiful dark carp. A super different colour. And I, I missed that first bite, but got the second one. <laughs> cunning, but not cunning enough that time, fish. Well, you can't tell me that that wasn't a good bit of fun. I've work my way back to the car now. So yeah, if you're looking for something to do when it's hot and you live down south, then go and chase carp on fly. It is so much fun.